Hey, what's going on YouTube? Quick tip. How to remove the spark plugs on your Mazda RX-8. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna lift the car. You're gonna put a jack stand or a tower under the car. You're gonna remove your wheel. You, you can get it down from on top. With a bunch of hoses, cables and everything. So you're gonna get a couple of cuts. You're gonna sweat and you're gonna bleed. So lift the car, remove the wheel. Car up, remove the wheel. You're gonna remove a cover that goes in here. Right in here. Which is a plastic cover. Um, what do I have it? Oh, right here. This one goes here. It goes right here. So you're gonna remove this cover. You're gonna light inside with the flashlight. And those are your coils. The trailing and leading. So you that's the easiest way to remove the spark plugs. So you can reach through here. Remove this cables. There the cables are off. Let me go ahead and fit uh Fix the flashlight and bring the socket so I can remove the spark plugs. Okay, this is the socket you need for the spark plugs. I think it equals uh, 21 millimeters or 13 sixteenths. You're gonna need a ratchet. You're gonna need a medium or long extension. On this case, you're gonna need a long extension. It's gonna go all the way from there to here. But for me, I have the uh, electric ratchet, so it'll fit no problem. Those are spark plugs there. So let me go ahead and remove it. Okay, so if you don't have the um, standard side, we have the metric. 21 millimeters. It fit right in. So you're gonna need that one, and um, let me go ahead and remove the spark plugs. Okay, the first spark plugs from the first rotor are off. Is by removing the spark plugs, uh, they're full of water. So most likely, um, yeah, this car has been sit has been sitting for a long time. So that's why the engine is locked because it's full of corrosion, full of oxide. Like the spark plugs, I look. They even have um, water on it. If I try to look, look in here, you see all the water in there. That's water. So that's what went down on mine. Most likely had like starting problems because uh, it was leaking water inside of the rotors already. So those two for the fridge rotor is off. Let me go ahead and remove the ones in the back. So now I know why the engine is locked. It's full of water inside. Okay, the other spark plugs are off. The ones for the rear rotor. As we can see, look at this spark plug. If any of you guys have a hard time starting your car, cold, hot, any, uh, start by removing the spark plugs, please. And make sure if you see anything weird, any oxy oxide, uh, if it's a little wet, if it has whatever, just remove the spark plugs and see what you can check, what you can see. Become spark plugs, they're full of water. So, uh, since both of the rotors has water on it, um. Um, I've seen this before and I noticed the little water reservoir has no water on it I've seen it before one of the hoses that goes from there into the um, intake one of, one of those or maybe from the heater core sometimes makes a bypass right on the intake and the water goes in through the engine uh, I'm not saying this is the case but yeah the problem on my car is the water in the rotors so man this thing's getting worse Good thing I have spare rotors, spare um, 
housings. The only thing I don't have right now is the irons. But anyway, this is how you remove the spark plugs. Sorry if I took a little too long. But yeah, tools I needed. It was my impact. A long extension, a 21 millimeter, and you're good to go. Let me show you the spark plugs. This is how they look. That's a clear water damage. So please guys, try to avoid that. If you guys notice anything wearing on your engine, hot start problems, cold start problems, just go and tackle your spark plugs. Just lift the car, put a tower in there, remove the wheel, remove the plastic cover in there, remove the spark plug cables from there. 21 millimeters, long extension, ratchet, impact, whatever you have, I'm get it done. See if you have any oil in there or any water. Thanks for watching, stay tuned because the next step I'm removing the engine.